Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. Let's look at Fjord's map. We are examining where the best initial spotting positions are. Is there some broken, overpowered bushes that you can use on this map to have massive damage assist games? And we're going to do the west spawn first. This map is kind of interesting uh, in that the whole southern part around the Horn and the southern part and the part in that little city it's not very good for spotting okay and then there's these big mountains everywhere that you can't see through and even if you spot people behind the mountains your spgs can't shoot them and your teammates can't shoot them there's basically a ring of fire look at the map here this this ring around here bushes here and on the other side there it's the ring of bushes uh, that people used to spot from it's like fairly simple and this ru251 is going to show us a very good position right on the extreme edge of the bush line here he puts his ass into that edge to see if anyone comes up uh, around a8 or if anyone goes along the bush line on the other side and he's made some initial spotting already these guys that are moving up here this is kind of the safe um high percentage spotting uh, location anywhere along the, this bush line here but he's moved as far up as he can so that he can have a higher chance of spotting people look at the map I mean look at the screen up in here and he's already done 2,000 spotting assists he's counter spotted all the light tanks that have tried to move on their line of bushes he's got good view range he's stationary he's just gonna sit there and he's gonna spot <clears throat> now this is safe. Oh, look! Scorpion G has arrived. Some people have arrived to the top of the hill and they're going to get massacred. This is kind of the safe, uh, high percentage uh, sp spotting position on, from the west side. Along this bush line. It's as close as you can get to the enemies and remain safe. Now, there are some amazing games that you can find where a light tank has crossed the field and gone into here. Where that LM... Uh, MTV is a cross to the enemy lines and that's very aggressive and very high reward if the enemies are Muppets <laughs> if the enemies don't move to their line of bushes and you get there and then you spot all these guys up here there, there's some more aggressive plays you can make but but as you'll see from the way this develops crossing and getting into some positions like here I'm pointing out the screen you don't need to get to those positions to spot these guys up here you can spot people far away that's what i'm trying to uh, give you guys a little bit of flavor for in this series as well look at his white circle on the map that's his maximum detection range his view range is even more than that he can easily spot those guys that crest uh around uh, a8 and b8 uh, he can spot them from here because he has fantastic view range and they don't have cover there they have to come over that uh that hump or even if they come around to these bushes right here you can see there's a, a dead enemy there so the point is and he spotted another one he spotted an strv boom the strv takes 887 damage the the leopard there finally shot and he got detected a bz is coming my point is uh you don't have to be that close all right it's just math if you have 500 meter uh, spotting if you have 500 meter view range and uh, an enemy tank has 10% concealment, uh, you're going to detect them at 450 meters. That's the white circle, okay? Now, you from this position, you can also spot people that go up here. You notice right up here. You can also spot some people like the BZ that's moving forward. And he's got to be careful of that now. And it's a tie game. He's done 5,700 spotting. So if you're interested in spotting, well, this is a, like, it's an easy go here. The only way he's going to get countered is if a, a wheeled vehicle, if a clown drives across and spots him. Or if this, this guy here drives across, he's, take, he's going to readjust in the bushes there. Okay, good. See, because he doesn't want to get spotted. He's got to watch this guy. This guy is going to counter him. This guy's going to counter him. He's going to count, so he has to move. Boom, but the guy's dead. Ding dong. The light tank's dead because he crossed, and it's a big open area. So, yeah, you can cross and be aggressive. You can do that at the beginning. And I would say it's almost better to cross and be aggressive, um, not in a light tank, but in a, uh, a medium tank that has some good armor. Maybe some really good turret armor, some good for like a, a 121 or a T-54 or something like that. That might be a better option to pull the aggressive, a fast, 
a medium tank that has decent armor. If you want to play it like that. Right? But for a light tank, uh, the high percentage play, uh, don't cross at the beginning. Uh, you know, I, I know there's going to be a lot of people that leave in the comments. Oh, you know, you like to camp. Of course you should cross. You don't help your team. Go, have a cookie, right? Uh, I'll, I'll tell you, nine times out of ten, when you cross, you're going to die. Uh, and you're going to have a shit game. One time out of ten, it, it might work. Or one time out of fifty. And as a matter of fact, uh, I've looked at, looked at the statistics. And when I make these videos for you guys, I'm just showing you stuff that's kind of high percentage. And I've uh, sifted through, for this map, the highest uh, damage assist games. And I've, I've watched quite a few. Like, I have no life. Okay, guys? I watched these videos. So please support me and subscribe to the channel. And even join as a channel member or become a Patreon to support my work as I sit in my basement and scour this stuff for you guys. <laughs> That's my plug. for, And thank you all of you who have subscribed and joined. I appreciate it. But I've done the work and looked at some of the statistics. And statistics don't lie, right? People post their best games. And I've looked at, like, uh, sifted through the top 100 best spotting assist games on this map. And 80% of them are from the West Spawn. 80% of the best... Well, I'm, I'm... Okay, wait. Full disclosure. I didn't do the math exactly. It seemed to me like a 7, 8 out of 10 of them. Most of them, let me just say most of them, are from the West Spawn. The spawn that he spawned from. Why is that? Well, because of this line of bushes that he has. Now this T-49, you know. He's, he's, he's being aggressive. Aggressively up the ass, he died. So, I, I want to point that out. That most, uh, most... The majority of the best spotting results are from the West Spawn. And I watched at double speed <laughs> uh, about uh, a dozen of the best spotting results from the West side. And it's all of the people that go to this bush line and stop. And they have very good view range. They have commander's vision system. They, you know, they have uh, their tank set up. Maybe the enemies don't. You know, we don't know. Uh, but... From that bush line, you're able to spot across. You're able to counter a lot of people that come up this line here because there's some gaps in the bushes and you can spot them. Uh, people that come up this road here, see there's a gap there. People that try and aggressively move up this road. None of the best uh, spotting games. Let's stop it right here because some people would say, be aggressive, cross, and this should be your initial position. Why stop in that bush line? That's too passive, right? Come right across and stop here. Well, the problem with coming to here is uh, if the enemies move in force right there and, and barrel down the hill and you get detected, where do you go? You're dead. Or if someone comes up that road here uh, and, and drives up here and proxy spots you, what do you do? You've got no escape. All right. So uh, all of the, the 10 best uh, games from the, the west side are people that pretty much stop in that bush line. A little variation of where the enemies go. But that pretty much uh, describes it. Uh, and then you have to have some some follow-up. He's at almost 8,000 spotting assist now. And now he's going to do some damage for himself. Does he get a little spotting assist there? If there was an artillery, but there is not. <laughs> and he's just going to go on to have a, a very good game. Oh, his teammate just, uh, Daddy, my teammate exploded, and Wargaming doesn't want my shot to penetrate the Leopard. And the GSOR still has three shots, uh, but there's an ISU-152 that the GSOR does not see. Bye! He doesn't get uh, assistance for that. I guess if he tracked them, he would have got some assistance damage, guys. If he had tracked that GSOR, he would have got like 750 tracking assist. After that uh, ISU-152 went BOOM! Right? <laughs> so something else to think about. <laughs> Use the tracking assist sometimes too. That, he would have got more value f tracking uh, that GSOR than uh, how much damage did he do to him? He did 240 damage on the GSOR, okay? If he would have just shot the track wheel and tracked him, uh, he would have got 750 damage assist. Plus or minus 25%, right? So now we're gonna, I'm going to show you a game from the other spawn. 
the what do you, I guess it would be the east spawn from this spawn here, and uh, uh, it's just a much it's more difficult. And uh, when you look at the statistics, uh, there's less games that achieve monster results from this spawn on this side. So, well done, my friend. Does he get the last shot? He doesn't get the last shot. Let's quickly look at the post-game stat. He gets patrol duty, and he did a little da- where is he? He did a little damage for himself, and 8,371 spotting assists. Okay, I know there's some of you that are going to say, Klaus, no, 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 you have to be aggressive. You're, you're being, you're, you're saying that you have to be too passive, and you should just go across. And you can do it from the east spot or the west spot. And guys, okay, uh, you know, the, you can. Uh, be aggressive and I'm going to show you an example of a light tank that is aggressive and does exactly what some of you are going to say in the comments and uh, my point is that it's not a high percentage play and uh, uh, from all the results I've looked at and I've looked at hundreds um, there are not a lot of the highest damage assist games where someone has done something aggressive like this. Now this guy does, and he has one of the highest damage assist games. Okay, now watch what happens here. He goes across, this is kind of very um, aggressive play, and he spots this guy, and he actually is going for damage, he spots that, he gets detected in return, so he's gotta hide, he's gotta hide, oops, there's people up there, he's gotta go stealth, he's gotta go stealth, you gotta be very active, you gotta look at where the enemies are, the Sheridan's already gone up there, and he wants to, He's got to get in a bush. He's got a favorite bush in here that he wants to get in. Yes, you get in the bush. There. Okay, now he's in the bush. And he wants to be able to spot those guys and not get detected in return. And he's hoping that he can spot those guys up there and have his teammates shoot them. The projectos detected and someone shooting the projecto. He did not spot the Sheridan. You notice that the VZ spotted the Sheridan because you can't spot him through all these trees. You got to get close. You got to get at least to here. Is he going to get? He's knocking down some trees and he's going to get. Yeah, you got to get at least to there. Can he spot them now? You got to. Okay, he's. Uh, okay, right about there. Okay, now he can spot them. But he's. He spotted. And what does he do? Holy shit. Mama said Klaus's channel was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Now, so my point is, it's very difficult to make, uh, as far as spotting assist goes, the aggressive play work for you. Now, uh, nothing to say that it's a bad play. I didn't say it's a bad play. and uh, But I did say that if you have a medium tank with a little bit of armor, uh, it's maybe a better play for a medium tank. Now, this guy's doing it in a manticore because he's got balls of steel. And so what this play does do, and the VZ's moved up, and he's going to look at this. He's going to pound the projectile and bounce because he's in a manticore. But there's some medium tanks here that they're going to be aggressive. So if you're going to be aggressive, be aggressive. And they're going to wipe this uh, uh, this advance from the enemies out. They're, they're going to just take the Sheridan up the ass. Boom. And the Sheridan <laughs> does 430. And he's almost dead. So if you're going to be... A that's why this play, moving aggressive, beautiful play if you're going to be aggressive. But now look at the score. They're losing by 7,000. And they're losing by two tanks. And the reason I'm showing you this replay is not because that aggressive position is the best spotting option, but because this guy has a brain and he's looked at the map and he said, holy shit, while we did our aggressive play, my whole team has melted. Now look at the mini map here, guys. Look, let's pause it. Look at the minimap. Look where all his firepower is. Grille, Leopard, STRV, someone there that I don't know. I can't see the name. So he's a, he's a smart light tank player and he's thinking, okay, the enemies have won the south. They're coming around the horn. All my firepower is here in the bushes. I've got to spot for them. That The most important thing he can do now is spot them. Where can he do it carefully and safely? He can just go, he has fantastic view range, and he is going to go right beside this grille and try and farm damage because he's a stat padding W. No, he's going he's to put himself uh, in a position where he can be the point man and spot for his teammates because he's probably got the best view range and the best concealment. But he can't commit himself too much, okay? And, uh, this is kind of common in all the videos we've done on spotting on these maps, is that there's no 
exact correct answer. But what you have to do in any given game is look at the situation. And he's looked at the situation and he said, Okay, all my firepower is there behind me in the bushes. The enemies are going to come. I'm going to put myself in a position where I can spot the enemies. But I'm safe. I don't want to go too far forward because I'll spot them. But before my teammates kill them, they're going to overrun me and kill me. I'm going to go in this position here. Look, this Jagdpanzer E100 has moved into his white outline. 749 spotting assists. Man, uh, Minotauro, look where he is on the minimap. Just crossed his white, the maximum detection range. This guy's probably got uh, over 500 meter view range. Shoot, you Muppets! Is, is the, the Muppet team is not shooting. Look at this. He has positioned himself now so that uh, he can spot the enemies from as far away as possible. So it's going to take them a long time to arrive and counter spot him. In the meantime, his team has a long time to shoot uh, and farm and remain undetected. Okay, now if he would have moved to this bush right here, look at the Minotauro where he is right now. If he would have been really aggressive and go sat in that bush where the Minotauro is right now, he could have done that. You know, he could say, oh, move up, move up and spot. If he had moved to this position right here, I'm pointing it on the map, I want, I'm not on the screen. He would have been counter-detected now by the Minotauro. Because his teammates didn't kill him fast enough, right? So, you don't have to move right beside the enemies to detect them, is what I'm saying. Now he notices the Minotauro is going to make it here. So he relocates into this bush. He's using his brain. He's got to... He knocked a tree down so he got out of the way because he knew an artillery shell was coming. He's moving into positions where he will spot, but not get detected in return. And the best spotting, we're going to be a little philosophical here, and some of you won't agree with this, the best spotting you can do is from a position where you can spot them from as far away as possible. You're, j you're safer, you can run away and relocate, and it gives your teammates more time to... Uh, to shoot, especially if the enemies are advancing. Now, that's true with passive spotting like this. He's now he's spotted the 60 TP. Look, look where, and he takes a shot. Ah, calculated shot. He didn't think anyone could spot him in return. Look where the 60 TP is. He just entered his uh, maximum detection range circle, right? This is uh, textbook spotting, but uh, there is also the flip side when you're active spotting. Not necessarily the case, because when you're active spotting, sometimes you want to move really close to the enemies. Uh, maybe just on the other side of a ridgeline and poke the ridgeline and distract them into shooting at you. And if you're really good at it, you can do it and try and make the enemy shoot you and miss. And while they're doing that, your teammates shoot them. That's completely different, okay? Active spotting, completely different. But for uh, the spotting that we're kind of looking at here, finding the magic bush and spotting for your team. The things you have to look at is, number one, where is all my firepower? And he, he, all his firepower is at B1. And number two, how do I detect the guys, the enemies, so that my firepower can shoot them? And then he got himself spotted. Got himself spotted, guys. But he's getting the spotting assist. These guys are still lit. They're still now they've gone stealth. He got more spotting assist. Now he just has to poke this bush, relight this guy, maybe take a shot, and then poke behind the uh, the um, the rock. Uh, the SPG is probably aiming at him. Come on, reload, 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 reload. He's probably gone stealth, and he can. Yeah, okay. Good. Minotauro, 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 Minotauro. Watch the Minotauro. Flat one into him. Takes him out. Okay, so if you looked at, the, if you were playing this game uh, and you did your initial, you know, you, you cleared out the enemies at eight, uh, A8, and then you looked at the minimap and you saw that all your teammates were at uh, B1, <laughs> like these guys, you're in a light tank. How many of you would have been smart enough to come down here and get in that exact bush where he was? That's not something you can make a video and just say, go to that bush, that's what you have to do, right? 
it, it could have been completely different if his teammates were somewhere else. It, he decided on the fly. Right? He, he, uh, he looked at his teammates. He said, there they are. The enemies are going to come from that direction. I know how big my view range circle is. I'm going to go in that bush because when they, you know, when they approach, blah, blah, blah. He thought that all through. And that's the bush he selected. How many of you would have said, oh, Christ, another loss. Stupid teammates that you know, are, are just maybe uh, been too aggressive and went to a bush closer to the enemies and then got spotted by the Minotaur. How many of you would have picked that bush? He ends up uh, doing a little bit of damage for himself, but 6,781 damage assist. Beautiful game. And it just goes to show that, uh, you know, there's no correct answer. You got to make it up on the fly. The aggressive play didn't really help him with the spotting assist, but his uh, map awareness and uh, knowledge you know, led to him having a fantastic damage assist game. One of the best damage assist games from the West spawn. Now let's watch this ELC play from the opposite spawn. And I think one of the big differences, I'm going to explain it to you on the minimap, is from the West spawn, if you make it to those bushes, he made it to like C4. You have the potential to spot the east spawning team that goes up uh, on the hill here that uh, ends up at b8 you have the uh, potential to spot those guys and your snipers can do a lot of shooting so you get a lot of spotting assist from uh people that come around the horn and go to a8 and are poking that ridge line in the open whereas this eastern spawn there's no equivalent spot where you can just go if you go to this bush line i'm going to show you on the map that any of that bush line there's no place where the enemies can come around the horn and be in the open and your teammates shoot them. It's a, it's a, it's an unbalanced map. It's not, the West guy has more uh, potential to spot just from the design of the map. Look, let me pause it right here, okay? Guys, look at how many people are going up the hill here. There's a Skoda, an Iron Arnie, an AMX, an AMBT. They're going to come up and around the hill here and they're going to end up over here at A8. Okay, that's a lot of uh, HP that someone sitting in that bush, the guy that was in the first game, the sitting in the bush at C4, that's a lot of HP for him to spot. That And those guys do not have bushes up here, okay? So the west, the guy spawning on the west side has just potential to easily spot more Muppets. Whereas from this side, this ELC is going to standard spotting bush, you know, he's on his line of, of bushes. And who's he going to spot? He's going to spot guys that go across the open here. And he might spot some guys. I'll point at the mini map again. He might spot some guys here or, you know, here. But when you look at the, the layout of the teams, if he spots them, uh, who's going to shoot? It's much more difficult, okay? He has to spot people that are in these bushes here. And his teammates up there have to shoot. But they're kind of exposed. They have you have to have you fortuitously have uh, not have an RU two five one in the bush like we saw in the first game that that's going to light your teammates because if you're here, this ELC would not be able to spot the RU two five one. The RU two five one that we saw in the first game was stationary in those bushes. Uh, he's not. This guy's not going to spot him because he's got concealment. He's in the bushes. Uh, so, if there was an RU-251 in the bushes, like in the first game, he would have spotted all his teammates up here. Look how many of them at A8. And his teammates would have had to back up and go, holy shit, someone's shooting us. And it, it kind of neutralizes this position, right? So, if, when you spawn on the east side and you go to this standard bush line, uh, not only do you have to spot people, uh, but you have to be lucky enough that the enemies don't have a light tank that counters you and spots your team and stuff. Now he drove across the gap and he did not get spotted. He did get spotted. So there are some people in the bushes there. The AMBT did not spot him. Someone spotted him when he crossed this gap here. So there's probably some people in these bushes here, okay? So it's just much harder uh, when you spot, spawn on the east side. Uh, that's just uh, what I've noticed. And when you look at the statistics, you see the AMBT did not spot him. He's poked there. The AMBT, does, someone from spotted him as he went through the opening there. And now even though he has the, that AMBT spotted, who's going to shoot him? 
The map is not balanced, uh, and the west side has an advantage, at least for detection. Okay, and, uh, maybe not overall. And you, as you can see, they're losing one three. It just, uh, uh, it's not balanced as far as uh, detection goes. Well, this series is about uh, good initial spotting positions, and is there a broken bush, and is there a you know great spot that you can go? And on this map, I'm telling you, if you spot on the wet, if you spawn on the west side take some positions along these bushes and if the enemies go up the hill here you're going to get a lot of spotting assist if your teammates shoot you know it's all take everything i say with a grain of salt because you, you could do everything right and your teammates are are clueless muppets and they don't shoot and there's a sandlack who crossed and made an aggressive play and he accidentally spotted him boom he's dead and that's exactly what i was trying to explain in the first game why cross right why cross? Because if you get spotted, um, th there's no there's nowhere to run. Okay, that that, ex that illustrates it just absolutely perfectly. And now his team is doing something smart. They're realizing well they're not going to get uh, any spots, and they're moving. The Iron Army and the SDA two are barreling down, and they're going to kill that AMBT, which which is a good move. But just much much harder from the um, from the east side. This guy's gone to his line of bushes and he's just, he had a lot of people up there ready to snipe. And, and the other thing I guess I should mention is uh, from his line of bushes here, he can't detect anyone that's carefully in, in the bushes on the other side. You pretty you can't detect them unless, uh, unless they have zero concealment and they move out of the bushes or they shoot. Right? You're gonna detect them after they shoot. But it's far enough away that any tank that has any decent concealment and is in these bushes that he's driving towards, you're not going to detect them uh, if they're just stationary there. He just drove past the location uh, where that RU-251 was. Uh, so anyways, uh, it's, it's an unbalanced map. And if you, if you spawn on the east side, just go, oh well. Um, <laughs> shoot this guy three times up the ass is good. It's just much harder for you, okay? There's just no, uh, there's no doubt about it. Uh, one of the things that you can do, uh, although this doesn't show up on any of the uh, top damage uh, assist games, is you can make a, a run to try and get up this hill at uh, E5, but it's exposed. And you might try and spot down, but you can get counter spotted from where that RU-251 was. Leave some comments in the comment section. This map is a little bit complicated. I might, uh, you know, not have all the uh, possibilities described in this video, but I think, uh, I think generally speaking, uh, what I'm saying is true. If you spawn on the east side, you have a very powerful line of bushes that you, the, that's just in the perfect spot to spot uh, a lot of enemy tanks that have to go somewhere where there's no cover, and that's a eight. Whereas from the other side, there's no equivalent. Oops! Oops! Oh, Vipera! Oh, Vipera! Oh, Vipera by a Vipera! Hey, you got a pair of diapers on while I shoot you up the ass? <laughs> what the hell's the Vipera doing? <laughs> That's always nice. Now, this, guys, this is one of the top spotting games uh, played in patch 1.19 I'm choosing patch 1.19 because there was just a lot more uh, games to choose from patch when I recorded this patch 1.20 was young so there's not as many games to choose from so one of the top damage result games damage assist result games from the east spot look how much spotting assist he did he did get patrol duty for the initial spots he had to do 2,000 damage for himself, but he only did he did less than 4,000 spotting assists. That's one of the best, the highest spotting results from that side of the map. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel, help the channel grow. Uh, I will keep doing them. Uh, I just, there's quite a few maps left. Leave some comments, let me know which map you'd like to see next. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.